According to IMDb, Injun Trouble is the last cartoon from Warner Brothers, from its theatrical cartoon series. And honestly, this is a terrible, terrible way to end a nearly 40-year run of producing generally solid, entertaining cartoons. This was released in 1969, directed by Robert McKimson and written by Cal Howard. And we have Larry Storch as Cool Cat. And this is my penultimate Cool Cat cartoon. I have one more left to watch. And I really like the character. So far, I've really enjoyed the Cool Cat cartoons. This one is one of the most troubled cartoons. Engine Trouble is a pretty decent title for it. Obviously not the engine part because it's very problematic. Cool Cat is driving uh, driving in his car and he comes across uh, a Native American tribe described on IMDb as a wacky Indian tribe and the depictions of these characters are some of the most blatantly racist I've ever seen but they're done in a way that's really meant to be funny normally with characters Indian characters they're not the source of humor in Warner Brothers cartoons even when it's kind of racist and over the top and extremely caricatured they're usually not that funny but with this one you can see they've tried to make these characters funny they've tried to give them you know quirky personalities and give them good lines and there's some dialogue that I think is quite well written it's just not, it's a little bit, you know, it's it's clunky, it's a bit awkward. What they're saying is maybe quite clever. For example, the Indian, the Native American, my goodness, the Native Americans retort when the cool cat says, I thought Indians always said how, what he said after, I thought, yeah, all right, that's a pretty clever response. But the fact that you're stereotyping anyway is a big problem. And there are a lot of other things that these characters do, the way they move, the way they behave, they're kind of bouncing around the place. And it's just, it's one of the worst portrayals of Native American characters I've ever seen. Very different portrayal though, because normally Native American characters in Warner Brothers cartoons are kind of savage almost and very aggressive this is a different depiction here equally problematic um with very strong stereotypes it's worth watching but for the wrong reasons interestingly there's also an uh, an engine trouble cartoon from the 30s with porky pig and the the depiction of the two native american characters in either cartoon are quite different um, but it's I think this may be the only Warner Brothers cartoon where they've reused a title I could be wrong there could be another but as far as I can remember this is the only one where they've reused a trouble uh, a title and the title itself well it, it's less than great to say the very least but very accurate for the for the for the theme of the cartoon it is very troublesome and problematic. Cool Cat was absolutely fine, but a lot of the language in it is awkward. Absolutely the personalities of some of the Native American characters are, as I said, it's meant to be over the top, it's meant to be gimmicky, it's meant to be funny, at least this is my reading of it, but it, it isn't. It really isn't. It's upsetting to think that this is the last the last Warner Brothers animated theatrical release for that time. Um, because that's a terrible way to end it. All I can say is I'm glad I haven't watched all of these chronologically because this would be a really truly heartbreaking way to end my very extensive journey with Warner Brothers cartoons. I'd say it's worth watching, but definitely not for the right reasons.